guys, we're going to go out and hopefully catch a whole bunch of brim this afternoon. It's uh, early May. The the brims are batted, up, the brim are batted up, and we've been doing really good in the afternoon. So before I go, I want to show you what I'm using. Um, first of all, I, I go with four fly rods hooked up just because inevitably while I'm fishing, I'll break off, something happens. So I just want to put one down and pick up another one without wasting a lot of time. So my, I've got two rods that I really like, and I got two I don't really like. So let me show you the ones that I really like. So I'm fishing for brim, some small goggle eye. So uh, I like this, this particular rod is a uh, Temple Fork Outfitters. I think I picked this up at Cabela's, but it's a, the main thing is it's a nine foot rod. It's a four weight. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight, and so forth. Um, the bigger the number, the more stout and heavy the rod. For the small brim and goggle eye, for the kind of fishing I'm doing, this is like the perfect rod. And so it's a four weight rod, nine feet long. Also, it's important to match your fly line, the size of the fly line with the weight of the rod. So this is a fly line that's for, um, for a four weight. And the baits that I'm using, I'm using, um, you may have heard the setup called a, I think it's a popper dropper or something. It's a wet fly and a dry fly. So in this case, I have, Okay, so I have my, uh, I have about a, an eight foot leader on my fly line. I'm dropping everything here. Okay, so then I have my dry fly tied directly to my eight foot leader. And this particular one is a, happens to be an Accardo round denny. And here is one in the package still. I'm not even sure that they make these anymore. I think the company's been bought out by someone else and it's the same bug but under a different name now. I know if you go to brimbugs.com, and I'll show you that in a second, brimbugs.com, you can find the equivalent of a round denny. I just like it because it's not a popper. And I don't, for these brim, for some reason, they don't really usually like a lot of commotion. So this little round head on it floats up high and it doesn't make as much commotion as a popping bug. So I have my dry fly and then I have about a 24 inch, uh, lead a uh, little, little leader or whatever you want to call it an eight pound test tied to the hook i don't know if you can see that but tied to the hook this is a um, by the way this is a 10 gauge or 10 aught hook that's a number 10 hook it's a number 10 hook on these flies i find that the number eight hooks are a little bit large for some of these small brim and the number 10 is perfect so this is a number 10 hook on this round denny i have eight pound test leader tied to the hook and trailing behind it, I have a brim killer, uh, a Ligon brim killer with also a number 10 hook. And that is, that is this guy. So anyway, that's, a, that's my setup. I've got um, four rods set up the same way. I told you that there's two rods I don't like. That's because one of them is, one of them is like a, a, maybe an eight weight and the other one's like maybe a six weight. And they're just too stiff. They're, they're not good for this kind of fishing, but in a bind, if I got to pick it up and fish with it, that's what I do. So I've got two rods that are either, I think this one's the four weight, the other one is, it says four slash five, so I'm not exactly sure how that would, that works, but it's either a four weight or a five weight fly rod. It's also nine feet. It's the perfect setup. So this time of year especially, if you want to go out and catch some brim, get in around the cypress trees and the stumps, get a wet fly and a dry fly. They can have their pick. They'll tell you which one they like the best. Most recently, they've been hitting them about the same, about the dry fly and the, and the wet fly equally. So um, it's a lot of fun. Come on, let's go, and I'll show you how it's done down here in South Louisiana. Oh, one thing I forgot to tell you, or show you. These are the brim killers, the, uh, the wet flies. Uh, some of these have a little red butt on it. Most of them are just black. But uh, again, brimbug.com is where I get them. I just get a whole bunch of them. Um, Again, number 10 hooks on these. So these are the wet flies that I tie behind that dry fly. All right, now let's go get them. Where have I been?